<laughs> Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. This here is one of my first wind turbines I ever made. It's made out of an e-scooter. Give you a nice close look up. Anyway, you notice right here the axle wasn't long enough, so I had to put another bolt in and we weld it and that broke. And I flipped the wheel over to this side. This motor, you notice the spacers are on the outside. They were on the inside, moving everything over so that this motor stood out this far and the belt came this way to the part of the wheel over here while the wheel was here. All I did is flip it over, took the spacers out, dropped this out, put the belt on it. It worked pretty good for a while. As you can tell, you look at the framework, kind of messed up. This is where the seat used to go. <laughs> and this was the rear fender. And then I cut it in half and I flipped the front end completely over and then straight across I put the two welds. Uh, when we got done I gave it to a friend of mine named Steve. He put a six volt uh, tail light from a motor scooter. A little old, uh, Thomas moped. He took that off stuck it on there. It blew the bulb quickly. He tried the headlight too. It blew it. But anyway, from there you, you notice you got the adjustment right here. That means you can pull this out and then twist it around and then tighten it back up and adjust this tail to any position you want so you can get it to furl. It's leaning it back more, bringing it up. But if you bring it up too much, it might come in contact with the blades when it comes all the way around. Anyway, the wind was about 50 or 60 miles an hour and a lot of it was coming in gusts. The pole wasn't very strong and neither was this. Never under engineer when you make something. Uh, if that hadn't happened, this thing would have still been up and running even though it hit the pole the blades hit the pole after the metal bent it uh, shattered them but it's still a lot of toothpicks went everywhere I picked up pieces of the blade all over but uh, it's still pretty much intact this is old this is uh gosh I can't even tell you how many years old right off the bat but anyway uh, this was kind of a salvage when I went back to get some of my stuff one time <laughs> it was buried on a couch with carpet on it and everything yeah it worked pretty well it did the only problem this thing had is it needed more rpms and more wind that it couldn't handle it it took like 20 mile an hour winds to get up the charging voltage so that motor needed more rpms even with the gear up of the belt to the size of the tire uh, always when choosing a motor for your wind turbine whether it's dc or whatever Look and see how many RPMs per volt. It'll tell you how many RPMs it's supposed to be, and it'll also tell you what uh, what voltage the motor is. Take the take the RPM divided by the volt uh, volts, and you'll know how many RPMs it's going to take to get to charging voltage. At that point, you need to exceed charging voltage. Uh, five six volts is wonderful for something small. Other than that, to, uh, if it's a bigger one, yeah, going a little higher. Uh, if it's really got some low RPMs, consider going to a 24 volt battery or a 36 or 48. Anyway, just good stuff. And this thing already put out DC. It was it, it was actually the only power we had at the time. So, haha, <laughs> very good. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energy. Many good things to you and yours. Well, there's the. You can tell the prop still had an old twist to it. And even over here on the shattered end, boy, splinters went everywhere. I was lucky enough to see this one happen. I was ashamed to take it down. At the time, it was our only power. <coughs> and we had a little light on the side. Uh, basically, when I first made it, I gave it to a friend of mine named Steve. He put the light on it, and he burned it out. That was off a, a six-volt motor scooter. So it did above, it did above the six volts, but it didn't charge much for 12 volts. That little motor needed more RPMs than it was getting even with this uh, this gear up from the back wheel. Anyway, I well, hope you enjoy. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energy.